Good you guys, it's Jara here, and today I want to talk about something uni related or college related, whatever you call it. I want to say sorry for two things before I even start the video. First off, I'm sorry if you can hear wind in the background, as you can tell I'm sitting outside. Secondly, I'm sorry if you can hear chomping in the background, because Miss Trico, as you can see, is eating a treat. So you might have that sound in the background, I'm not 100% sure. Thought I would say it anyway. So. I wanted to talk about uni and college, right? So, what am I going to talk about? That's a good question. What I wanted to talk about is the anticipation of getting into uni or college. You know, you worked your whole life, you've worked your whole year 12 life, or your senior year, whatever you call it, trying to get good grades, so you get into the university or college, I'm going to say university because that's what we call it, but the university of your dreams and all of the offers come out and you don't get an offer and it crushes you and it's it's hard because that all you know people around you and stuff like that have uni offers and you know know what they're doing or have gotten into what they wanted and you're kind of like well I'm still here and I am talking about this from experience. All of my friends have gone into their university courses. All of my friends, you know, got what they wanted. And I didn't get an offer into my university course. I am still waiting to hear if I get offer into my backup university. You know, my plan B, but that might be a while still but no one ever talks about how heartbreaking it is in the moment because yes by next year it'll be irrelevant by next year it won't matter by you know a couple of months it won't matter but that doesn't help the you that's in that scenario right now and how you're feeling and I don't want this to be like, oh, I'm so sorry, Jara, that you didn't get what you want, blah, blah, blah. I don't want that. This is not what it's about. I'm talking about ways, just things I wish people would have told me before I started university. Well, before I started year 12 even. So I was lied to way back in the beginning, before I even started year 12. I struggled with a lot of school subjects. I struggled with like math, science, English, every subject basically. I struggled. I am not a good I'm a good I was a good student. Like I did the work. I tried my hardest. It's not like I mucked around or screwed up or anything like that. You could ask any of my teachers, they will tell you that I did well. It was I just wasn't good at writing. Because all of our subjects are writing based, I would screw up every time. Again, it's not like I didn't get good grades either. I got C's and B's and, and you know, you, stuff like that. So I wasn't failing, but I wasn't getting straight A's, which is normal. So I, so every year my school does this thing before you start your um, your, your next year. You pick your subjects for the next year. And I had chosen my subjects, which was multimedia, English essentials, um, no, not multimedia, sorry, photography, English, English essentials, that's English, food tech, and child studies. So I only had to do four subjects. So they're the subjects I chose. Whereas other people chose, like, you know, your biology, your physics, your chemistry, your... I drink, sorry. Your biology, chemistry, physics, and let's say your math methods, which is, like, the highest math, I think, or is that the other maths? I don't know. There's two different maths that are really high up. And, you know, we went to the teachers. I said, this is what I want to do. They're like, okay, cool. And my parents said, you know... If she takes these classes, is she going to be scaled a lot lower? And the schools looked at us, swore black and blue that 
that doesn't happen anymore. So what scaling is is that for Australia right now we we get this score called an ATAR. So it's zero out of 99.95 and you are puts you are um, basically pinned against other students and you're rated and judged against other students and that's what your score is based on how other students went which really sucks because not only that but also if you did but also if you did higher up subjects like your sciences and maths you would get a better score than if you did your multimedia, your designs, your dance, your whatever it was they were classified as lower subjects so you wouldn't get a better so for example in multimedia if you had an A plus throughout the whole year that would be the equivalent of getting a C in the highest math which in my opinion was pathetic because I'm sorry that I'm yes hello Trigger. sorry that I'm not a math person but just because I'm not a math person means I can't get the potential score I want to get into a university degree that has zero math provided it's pathetic and stupid you know so because I'm not doing a high math means I can't get into my let's say arts degree for example it's stupid but that's how our system worked yeah it's stupid huh but right now that's the life we live until it gets changed and how frustrating that is it's very but that didn't matter I did the subjects I knew I would be good at or and the subjects I enjoyed and you know I got pretty decent scores but it meant my ATAR was going to be lower than I needed so I got my ATAR and it was <laughs> to be honest really shit compared to you know the rest from what I wanted pretty much and that meant I wasn't gonna get into my university course you know which was a bit of a blur but then I thought you know what maybe I got a chance I gotta give myself hope I waited and I waited and I waited and I got no emails from the universities so, what now? Yeah, you feel like complete utter shit. It messes with your mental headspace. It messes with your mental mind. It messes with everything. It makes you feel down on yourself. But it doesn't help when people are like, Oh, we'll help you figure out a plan B. You know, you need to think of a plan B now. I get that. Like, I really do. But right now, I just want to be in the moment of figuring it out. I just want to be like, let me, let, let this sink in for a second. Let this, you know, fully get into my brain and then I'll figure out my plan from there. So, if you're not getting into your uni or college course, what now? It's stereotypical, but it's true. Plan B... Do you want to say something to the sarcasm family? Oh, now you're quiet. Okay. Plan B. Have your plan B's, C's, and D's. E, F, G, all the way to Z if you have to. And start using numbers. Apply for other uni stuff. Go for mid year. You know, apply for other things. So if you've got, well, we have something here called. Stop. So if you, we have a thing here called TAFE, which is. Sorry, this vlog is very cutty. Um, someone is being a grumble butt. Yes, someone's being a grumble butt. And you wonder why I don't feel them outside. Um, what was I saying? Yes. We have something here called TAFE, which is basically. It gives you like certificates and it's classified as a lower education but it's or it's 
it's kind of known as like the poor man's college, but it's also not at the same time. It TAFE can have some really good degrees and well, like bachelors and certificates and stuff like that. So you could always do something like that alternative. You could work for a year. There's gap year, or you could redo year twelve. I know that's an option for some people. Um, and if you don't want to go through all that trauma again, there are some places in the world. I know here, for example, we have a schooling, a school that does year 11, 12, 13. So year 13 is basically, it's the kind of the same thing as if you didn't get into year 12, you do year 13. But, well, if you didn't get your uni stuff. But it's also like some schools have the year 13, which is like, a year one of uni it's weird I'm not really sure how it works don't quote me on that I just know that some schools do that um, yeah it it's definitely one of those scenarios where it completely messes with your brain because you're told not to stress about it you're told to focus on your work and stuff like that but then it comes to the end and you stress about it and then you didn't get in and it's like did you tell your family and you tell your family and it hurts because they get upset and then you kind of just feel meh but there are always other ways to do things you could always apply mid-year for university stuff you could always apply out of state out of I guess for some people out of country um, you could apply you could just try next year and apply. There's all different ways to get into university now. Um, there's scholarships, there's, I don't know. Um, I think scholarships is the word I was trying to think of. <laughs> there's all these different ways to get in different pathways. But I'm gonna go against what every person has ever told me. Uni is something to have on your mind. It's not something to worry and stress about, but it's something to be concerned about. I was always told it's never something to be concerned about. It's not your worries, none of your, you know, nothing you should be thinking about. Just, you know, just focus on getting a good, just focus on relaxing and having fun and doing your work and stuff like that. When I feel like that's not entirely true. I feel like you need to think about what uni course you want to go into, or at least I didn't have a clue what I wanted to go into, but I looked at stuff I was passionate about and I went from there. So I know I really love filming. So I found a, there's a bachelor of media course. So I applied for that. I, for some reason, have always loved solving crimes and criminology and, you know, like those types of TV shows and we even had like a criminologist come to our school for the day and we had to solve a, a real life crime and I was had so much fun with that. I had a CSI kit when I was like 10 so I've always been you know fascinated by that so I put that down as a course. I love flying and I wanted to be a pilot when I was younger so I put that down. You know even though I can't be a pilot because I don't have 20-20 vision. You know all of these things. So it's definitely a don't do don't put down courses. You're like, oh, I'm gonna get this. You think you're gonna get good this grade? Put down these courses. You can do stuff like foundation studies or preparation courses, which help you get into university life, which might be a good idea. But I would still put that as your last option. So we have six options in Adelaide. I don't know about other states and countries. We've got six options at least. That's our maximum anyway. And I don't know if that's just like the schooling system or if that's like a, a uni thing in general. But I'm not really sure. But definitely the thing I just wanted to stress is that give yourself time to let it sink in. Give yourself time to figure out what you're doing. Don't rush it. Don't think oh, you know, uni is in X amount of months, I better, you know, figure out what I'm doing with my life. No. Just take a deep breath. 
and let ha things have time to process because humans like to process information. Some people process it faster than others, some people process it slower than others. For me, I believe I process information slower than others. Uh, and I know for a fact that in some scenarios I do. So for people, it's hard for them to be like, well, why haven't you, like, why aren't you over it? Why haven't you, blah, blah, blah. It's like, I'm still processing the information. It hasn't got into my skull yet. Like, it needs to really sink in. And for other people, they get told the information, it's sunk in, it's done, that it's over with. This so is just up to, you, up to you, but I believe give yourself time to process the information, give yourself time to be like, okay, information is in my head, I didn't do it as well as I thought, or I did it as well as I thought, whatever it is, but that's okay. This is my options. And you'll figure it out from there. Thank you guys so much for watching this vlog. It's probably random and weird, it makes zero sense, but oh well. I'm going to end this video here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked it, let me know and tell me about your experiences from going from high school to uni or college or from even primary school to high school, anything like that. Anyway, I would be doing the outro, but my hand is slowly being eaten, so. Anyway, dry out, see you guys in the next video. Whoop, sarcasm out. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye. See ya. Bingo, you got a headbutt today. <laughs>